Hello and welcome to another romance seminar with your host Jay Green. Um, I had this very interesting concept come to mind today that I wanted to share with you. The gangster mentality. Um, not the gangsta, but the gangster mentality. You know, I'm re actually referring to working class and poor Americans that embrace this whole gangster phenomenon, gangsta phenomenon. Most Americans don't know much about the gangsters except for what Hollywood tells them. But even the Hollywood denotation of what the gangster is, is not translated well into the black um, community or working communities or just anybody that's trying to be a gangster. And what I mean by this directly is, let's look at it for case in point. A gangster and a thug, this is their relationship. The gangster makes the call, they don't get their hands dirty, the thug goes and do it and, and does the job. Um, if it's killing, robbing, things of that nature. The gangster is clean. They're almost like the uh, the corporate exec. The thug is the worker. Makes sense? So, a lot of people out there say they want a thug, they want a gangster, all this other stuff. But if you think about it, the relationship isn't even present as it is portrayed even in the movie. So, even in real life, it's not even portrayed as it should be. Now, why does all this even matter? Why am I even having this discussion on romance seminar? Well, think about it like this. You ever notice how the gangster, the Italian mafia, is a bunch of families? The, well, I don't know their names, but they're a bunch of families. So my last name is Green. You got the Andersons, you got the Johnsons, and, and the um, Hitchcocks, and so forth and so on. And we're the families that rule the Italian mafia. Well, if you think about this, it's kind of odd that the only way, well, not odd, the only way you can get into an Italian mafia is you have to be born into the family, or you have to marry into the family, or you can be made. Now, it means you're in a separate family, and you've done your, your due, and you worked into it, and you get blessed into the family. Now, and also, and we're going to touch on something else, Coaster, the, the Ten Commandments of Coaster and Ostra came out a couple weeks ago. And it talked about the number one rule was honor the woman. You know, and I spoke in one of the videos, uh, private is talking about how women are the key to a man's immortality. She carries your name, she carries your offspring. So if she wants to cut off your lineage, she doesn't have to tell them about you, pass on your values, things of this nature. What are you leaving as a legacy? And I talked to the fathers and the young men out there, your legacy. What are you leaving behind that proves you existed? A lot of them cut off their their future by going out into the streets and doing different things and having multiple women. You can't pass all that legacy down to 15,000 kids. But let's bring it back to the topic at hand. So you think about it. You have why do you why do you find that in the Italian mafia or in, in most affluent families, the world does not know about their problems. So the world, you think it's a perfect family. But inside the family, it might be a tumultuous affair. But in the working class, lower income families, you find that they try to they try to show off and wear masks as if nothing's going on to each other inside the family. But they go tell their business of the family to people at work, to strangers, to anybody that'll listen. They go borrow money from people at work rather than borrow money f from people in their family for fear of them knowing that they're doing bad. I mean, don't you find that a little peculiar in the sense that you have perfectly good family members, but you'd rather lie to them to maintain an image that everything's okay that hey everything's fine I don't need your help but you'd rather go to the co-worker at work saying I, I can't pay my rent I gotta go to the church I can't pay my rent you have a family so ask yourself at the next family affair why are we pretending everything's alright when it's not but you're gonna run your mouth at your, your best friend or how what your family did this past Thanksgiving you're you're telling your fa your friends and your lovers about what you what's wrong inside your family again why tell the world why is the the world aware of your shit but the family you can't talk to her correctly and and honestly and courageously about really what's going on don't you find it peculiar that young 
men go out into the streets and create this my boy this no this my brother they create 14 brothers but they won't go talk to the brother in their family they won't go support their sister they won't go support their mom their dad they won't support their aunts and uncles the people that raised them they rather go create a brand new family out in the street called a gang why won't you stay at home and embrace and uplift the family that you have young men i mean think about it the family at home well, even, even even better. Think about it like this. If you embrace the family at home, you uplift them, and you help take that family to the next level, you set up a foundation so when you have kids, you can bring them back home and see how well your tradition is being passed down so you don't have to take them to strangers. You don't have to take them to daycares. You know, as I, I do this video, I, I come to a, a realization that I realized that most of the most of the problems in the black community or my community come from the fact that we're one foot away from slavery. I'm not saying we're going back, but if as 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 if the community as a whole is just sitting on the edge of the plantation. When they told us we're free, we just went and sat on the edge of the plantation. We're still trying to prove we're just as good as the Johnsons up on the plantation. I notice in, in streets, I know well, I notice in communities when black people get some money, they go move to where the white people are. I I, I, I realize that the house mentality and the field mentality is still strong in our minds the light dark mentality you know when 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 was a man a come you remember you ever heard